I knew the power of the wild. He dreamt we could make the desert bloom again. I grew like a weed in the wild fields of Ireland. With the last cliffs of Europe fall into the sea. Where I grew up, we always knew man is nature. Nature, man, one and the same. Beloved Hawthorne, it let me see and opened up the world for me. Imagine if all the wild places of your childhood memory were gone. But this is not that story. This is my story. Watching you, Missy. Oh, I don't mind where you go or what you do, but you just stay out of the fairy field. Imagine if you were a child who never believed in fairies. But I have seen the spirits of the earth. Imagine if all that grew or bloomed or sustained us turned to desert. Didn't I tell you not to come here alone, didn't I? Daddy, I saw these sparkly lights. I know. I saw the same when I was small. The earth is alive, just like us, and the stone circle isn't just nature's making it, it's man's too. We're all in this together. Come on. My father told me we were destroying the earth. That everything we cherished would disappear. Even our own fairy field had lost its magic. Stop, Joyce! I was a child I could design as nature had intended. All I wanted was to get my ideas out into the world. But it meant leaving the wild for the city.
I'm not sure about my hair. Too much color, maybe? I look like Mary Antoinette on acid. I'm never going to get this job. What's with the violin music? I'm terrified, Eve. Mary, you have to get the job. She is the celebrity florist. Well, what if she doesn't like me? She doesn't have to like you. She has to employ you. You'll meet Madonna. I don't want to meet Madonna. Look, it's all about connections. Which is how you get your ideas out there. Which is why you're ringing that oh. bell. I hope you're wearing something remotely business attire. I'm getting a vibe. Will you stop with the vibe nonsense? Thorns in bloom. Nice. You okay? Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking for Shah. Right, she's um inside. Mary Reynolds landscape. That was absolutely. Perfect for the green ball, Christy. Okay. Bye. Quite the specimen, don't you think? He only dates exceptional women. If only he had a little bit of... Now, those are your designs. I believe that man is nature. Nature man. One and the same, harmonious. Okay, that's great. Can you show some promise? Has anyone else seen these? I think you're a wonderful florist. Darling, I'm not a florist. I'm actually the big thing in garden design. And it's been so busy lately, I could actually use some help around here. I'd love to help you. Well, you need to lose the color. Keep it blonde. What does that mean I've got the job? We can consider it a trial. What do you want your garden to say about you? I want a seduction garden. As a man of such fine taste, what would you like your garden to say about you? Success. Prestige. You can't live here. It's in the middle of nowhere. I'm not comfortable in the city. You could die here and no one would know for weeks. Look at that magical Hawthorne. Do you know what the whole thing symbolizes? Health. <laughs> Madden, as an international rock star, what do you want your garden to say about you? I want my garden to say massively, save our planet. I can make saving cool. Go and have some. It's on me. How about when we get back to the office, you come up with some designs for Madden's garden? Madden needs a garden that impacts. Actually, how about we go out to lunch with Madden one day? Are you serious? Look, 
There she is. It's great, isn't it? Mary, nobody gave me the catering business. Be careful you're not ripped off. Yeah, but with celebrities and people with power, you need to go slow. You can't be too pushy. Well, Mary, would you be a dear and unpack my bags? How was your trip? Oh, amazing. I am entering the Olympics of gardening. Met this English lord who loves gardens. He has agreed to sponsor my garden at the Chelsea Flower Show. Wow. The Chelsea Flower Show. Have you lost weight? Or are you just dressing better? Well, you should marry. I mean, for a woman, it's all trade. Youth and beauty for wealth and power. It's historical as well as biological. I mean, what do you want from life, Mary? Well, I could never live without clover, ferns, willow, and grass. Shah was taking me to check out the competition at the Chelsea Flower Show, as we plan to enter our own garden next year. It would be a chance to promote my dream for the wild at the most prestigious landscape competition in the world. I'm on my way, honey. I'm almost into the VIP garden. Sorry, Mom. Finally. Darling, you brought the sunshine. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> Nonsense. Pretentious people supporting pretentious monoculture design. They don't give a damn about real nature. I don't understand how we're abusing it. <laughs> What's your name again? Mary. Mary Reynolds. The blooming Hawthorn girl. Wow. <laughs> Not exactly. <laughs> uh, why are you here? I'm a botanist. Oh, I thought you were like a rock violinist or something. That just feeds my plant habit. You're into wildflowers, too. That's it. So lucky. How so? Uh, no, I just mean I know all about wildflowers. Everything. You know, I actually, I, I, I design wildflower designs. Yeah, well, I'm not really interested in design, quite honestly. I'm only interested in what wildflowers can do all by themselves. Right, no, but it goes hand in hand like a, like a marriage. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> okay. Uh, a marriage, you know, as in like a biodiversity uh, planting companion thing. Um, I have to give a talk on wildflowers to people who want chrysanthemums in their herbaceous borders. Good luck with your designs.
easy. Her new design for my garden of paradise is unbelievable. Oh, yes, and this one? This is my newest, the Irish sky. Just a little window. This is my Celtic sanctuary. Man versus nature. Nature versus man. Interdependent. Harmonious. Genius. Don't stop it. <laughs> we gotta show this to my agent. Mm. Oh, um, sorry. Uh, way out. Right. Left. I know. Right. Are you all right? I'm fine. Okay. Dublin, so no more job, I'm afraid. But, you know, we did say it was just a trial. All right, well, uh, don't forget to lock up before you go and uh, put the keys through the letterbox. Bye. I have no job. She stole my green book. You know, everything that mattered is gone. Mary, your ideas are in your head and in your heart. You don't need your green book anymore. Because every design you do is better than the last. Why would she dump me like that? Oh, there are a million charlottes out there ready to rip you off. And they'll sleep well doing it. But there's only one Mary Reynolds. No one can do what you can. Never forget that. you for my cold metal garden design at Chelsea Flower Show. Who's inquiring? Mary Reynolds from Ireland. I'd like to apply for the garden competition. One moment, please. Nigel Hall, Chelsea. Hi, I'd like to apply for the garden competition. Are you a registered garden centre? Well, I'm a designer. Um, I've already designed lots of wild gardens. You sound extremely young. Chelsea is for seasoned professionals. A good day to you. Um. Marigold, these people are becoming very vexatious. <laughs> Stop putting cones through to me. Thank you for my gold medal for garden design. 
Mr. Hawk, please. He's not available right now, I'm afraid. Look, it's just I never got the application. <laughs> Sorry, mold allergies. Really? I've got the perfect herbs for that. They're from the Wicklow Mountains. Oh, please. Sorry? I know you're in there, Mary Williams. You better pay up. I'm a businessman. I'll be all expenses. Me cow dollars are at him. I need a new sweatshirt. There's ketchup blood on my balloons. I'll bring the bailiff with me. Do you hear me? change for your payphone. Local or international? International. Hello? Marigold, how are you? Oh, Mary. Those herbs you sent are giving me a new lease of life. How can I thank you? Easy. Would you send me an application for the garden competition? You need your application filed by Monday. Monday? The show's months away. And the application's very detailed, too. Form, concept, sponsorship for £250,000. Uh, um, <laughs> great, no, that, yeah, that should, that, that should be fine. This was supposed to be a romantic weekend in the country. This is the country. And it is romantic. I'm going to fax you through the application now. Fill it out, curry it back to me as soon as you can. I won't even notice. Thanks so much, Marigold. I won't forget this. Oh, jeez, Mary. It says here you need to have a sponsor donating £250,000. I will find a sponsor in two days. Use my family's business in Beirut. Chelsea won't get through to any of the numbers anyway. I can't. Herbal tea. Sent for my sister-in-law from Cumbria. For my birthday. Please do not remind me. Thanks so much. Good. Well, let's keep our fingers crossed for you. You're a breath of fresh air around here. Celtic sanctuary reminds us of the importance of wild places. The Stone Moon Gate is a crossover between the spiritual and the natural world. The ancient bog oak path leads us, as in pre-Roman days, to a forgotten time. The Celts believe the sun sank into the waters, absorbing its healing power. Granite Celtic thrones impart their primal strength to whomever sits upon them. No one can enter the inner circle of the wrath, the mound carpeted in wild flowers, without leaving behind the ordinary. 
For meditation and reflection, we enter a magical place where we can connect with wild nature. You have been selected to compete in the Chelsea Flower Show. The build commences in 80 days. Thereafter, you have three weeks in which to complete your garden. Congratulations. <laughs> oh, Mary, 2,000 applicants for just eight spots, and you made the cut. It's the greatest design show in the world. Cheers. Oh. <laughs> Cheers. Oh. Mary, do you have any idea how difficult it is to get this much funding to build a garden? One word now. Money. You need lots of it. Your clients, they're the place to start, Mary. You want to have a go? I can't. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. the dogs! Bye, Dad! <laughs> so, as you can see, the curves are very important to the flow. But I like it straight. Do you like it straight? Yeah. But I think curves will attract more birds. You like birds. Yes. Have a lovely evening. OK. Your fees, Mary. Not like you're famous, like Shaw. Couldn't you just sprinkle tulips around? How much would that cost? I'm having a Botox party. I could trade you for Botox. No sponsors. Not a penny. Other competitors spend millions. You have to have wildflowers. What, what about nurseries? 500 wild species. Nurseries don't do wild. And the Hawthorns have to be at least 200 years old. They also need money for trucks and ferries to take everything from Ireland to England and stonemasons that can build the ancient farm style. Who's going to donate to the likes of me? You need one starter piece. Wait. I did see stonemasons. Oh, holy shoe, <laughs> Your wall is beautiful, mistress. Where did you learn to do the ancient farmer style? We are ancient farmers. Look, here's the deal. A great thing has happened, and I need you two to build this wall in London. You see, my design's been accepted to the Chelsea Flower Show. <laughs> I also need wildflowers, mature hawthorns. We can do all that. Fantastic. Oh. Except we don't go nowhere unless a man thinks it's a good idea. He's a man, and we're the clan. <laughs> He's got the shumar. What? According to a wise rabbi, mum and I days. Mm. Eight centuries ago in Egypt, the Shuma is the highest level of the soul. Yeah. Few have it, and nobody owns theirs. It's a kind of a membership association where people's deeds and motivations entitle them to belong. So, where do I sign up? <laughs> <laughs> That's not how it works. Okay, um, where do I find the man then? You find the man and the rest of his green angels in future forests, Wild West Cork, four hours drive. But don't get your hopes up, girly. The only thing he really loves is wildflower deep rooters. I feel exactly the same way myself. Come away, come away. Where
Where the twisted willows grow Where the arms that surround you Will be a harbor for your soul Yes, I know, yes, I know You've been torn and you've been scared and for the road that stretched before you You felt completely unprepared doing here then? Uh, well, the thing is, is that um, I really need your help, and Future Forest is the only place in the whole world that has all the wild species that I need, and you're the only person that knows how to transport old hawthorns, and we both know how incredibly hard that is. That's quite a speech. Did you come all this way just to say that? <laughs> I've been accepted to compete at the Chelsea Flower Show. I need your help. Well, we don't really do um, shows or awards or kudos. Well, I don't really. If you need the Green Angel's help, you have to ask them yourself. Yeah, I'm late for a purification meeting. And as you're clearly not dead, then I should um, get in Now, what's first on the agenda? My friends can't shit in the bog anymore, Dad. It's too weird. And carelessly polluting the earth isn't. Toilet or no toilet? The I Ching coins are the authority of gyatic determinism. Let them decide. Mountain over wind. Everyone show, 8 a.m. upper pasture. Next. Well, um, we have someone new here today. She wants to talk to us about the Chelsea Flower Show. Oh, sorry. Um, hello. Um, I'm Mary. Look, I know that none of you know me, but I've come to ask for your help with my garden design. You see, gardens these days have nothing to do with the feeling that wild places give us. People travel all over the world to see places of beauty, yet their own gardens are quite the opposite. They're manicured lawns full of pesticides and weed killers. They should be covered with moss and clover that bees love and only need to be cut once a year. Our gardens often ignore the true spirit of nature. City parks are like cosmetics, beautiful in the way that a made up face is beautiful, but they're not real. They're not glowing with life force and atmosphere like the magical places of the wild fewer and fewer people remember from their childhood. How can we help you, Mary? My Celtic sanctuary is designed to remind people how important it is to preserve the wild. What I need, what I really, really need is a contractor who understands this and who can help me make wild nature gardens fashionable so that we can have the atmosphere of wild nature in a city park or a roof terrace or our own backyard. We can do all this through my garden at the Chelsea Flower Show. Let's throw a lifeline to the wilderness. Well, I for one support Mary's anti-gardening establishment designs. Who knows? Mary might be lighting the little candle that shows us all the way forward. It's not leading us anywhere. Look, this uh, wild nature garden is going to be no more than a nine-day wonder. We need to raise awareness so that people can change, Christy. Mary, what we need to do, what we absolutely have to be doing, is focusing on our water outreach programs in Africa. 
Let the I Ching decide. Well, the coins say yes. My concern would be that our resources are better used aiding irrigation and the reforestation of the desert. Have you ever slept in a treehouse before? No. you are to live here. Look, Mary, about before, um, garden contests are just not what we're about. But rock star gardens are. <laughs> yeah, well, I put up with all that celebrity nonsense because I have to. Rock stars pay, you see. Handsomely. Uh, so it's about the money for you? It's about priorities, availability. <clears throat> star masons are booked up until September. But it's the intention behind the design that matters. Is your intention to become famous? Why would you think that? Let's just say I'm tuned into human nature as well as wild nature. I'll show you the real wild world tomorrow. Now, there's nothing like composting in your own backyard. I declare the Future Forest Memorial Toilet, open for business. Say cheese. Where's they? Try a luck human. Especially for you, my lady. All these wild plants and flowers. Follow road crews building highways. Salvage the old walls, transplant the wildflowers. You can even keep 200 year hawthorns alive. Everyone could feel the wild. That's what my garden is all about. I guess my problem there is that the only function of the Chelsea Flower Show is to impress rich people and make celebrities out of garden designers. You complete and absolute ignorant gobshite. You don't know the first thing about what good design could do. You've no idea. You know, you swim in waterfalls all the time. Most people never get the chance to do that, not even once. Mary, look, you're, you're clearly really passionate about this. But the reality of the situation is you, you cannot create a wild nature garden at Chelsea in three weeks. I can if you help me. But this is an opportunity to change how people think. Not just with my garden, but with your oasis projects too. Now, I can't help you with the building. That's Christie's domain. But I can give you hawthorns, wildflowers, Bluebells, ferns, even stone walls. Equipment, transport, and board and lodging is another matter. It's, it's impossible to estimate at this time. It's, but it's going to be a substantial amount.
Sorry. Can say goodbye. Where are you going? I need to go to Lalibela in Ethiopia. Ethiopia? I need to go and see Kaori. Who? She's a Japanese writer. She's sponsoring my forest park there. Christy, you know that I can't do Chelsea without you. Well, um, come to Ethiopia then. We could do with the designer. Fine. You know what? Go build a Garden of Eden in the desert. Why don't you start in Egypt and end up in Timbuktu? All by yourself. Good luck. Make him come back to me. Make him come back and help me. And Britain's Prince Charles is competing against you at the Chelsea Flower Show with his physic garden. So, Mary, tell us about yours. I actually design atmospheres, not gardens as such. Um, I want to show that we can preserve wild places where nature is alive and unrestrained in our very own backyards. So, you're still looking for sponsorship then? Yeah, actually I am, and I'm not too proud to say that I'm desperate. And how much do you need? Two hundred and fifty thousand pounds. You have uniquely been admitted to compete with this extraordinary wild garden designed to raise awareness for natural habitats, and you can't raise the funds in Ireland. Well, there has to be somebody out there who sees the importance of your garden going to Chelsea, because really, anything less is a disgrace to the nation. Live. Yeah, totally live. Here, have a glass of wine. No, thanks. So, you've got the hawthorns and wildflowers from future forests. Well, that's a good sign. You're on a roll now. Yeah, but everything and everyone I need won't work without Christy say so. I have to convince him. I have to go to Ethiopia. Ethiopia? Yeah. Mary, you can't just go to Ethiopia. It's not like it's a day trip to Dingle. I have to. You can't just go to Ethiopia after some guy who doesn't get what you're about. How do you know he doesn't get what I'm about? Well, does he? Not yet. No. Ah, Mary, forget about him. Look, at this rate, the Royal Horticultural Society would have a big hole in Chelsea where your garden should be. You'd embarrass the whole Irish nation. He feels the wild like I do, Eve. The wild will still be there whether goddamn Christy feels it or not. Mary, you're in love with him. Don't be absolutely ridiculous. If he knows how I see, then I'll get what I'm about. It could happen. It happened to us. Incredible, unlikely things do happen. Stay out of this image. Look, you can't just go to Ethiopia. You have to get shots. I already got shots. You got shots because you knew I'd lend you the money. You need anti-delusional shots. It's not a good idea, women travelling alone. You're right. You haven't even been outside of Ireland. Yeah, I've been to Chelsea. Does Christy even know you're coming?
this is like very a bug. Christy Collard? Uh, Christy. Christy. Yes. Christy. 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 Oh, thank you. Christy Collard, I presume. Very. Oh. I can't believe you're here. Welcome to Fable, Ethiopia. Come on, I'll show you around. You have to see what Kauri is sponsoring here, so that you'll understand. We rerouted water from the river so that it will reach these seedlings. The seedlings will then be planted on the mountainside so that the soil will hold. The seedlings turn into trees. That's how we stop desertification. <laughs> small beginnings, but we can stretch this across the whole of Africa, as it once was. Islam is reclaimed by planting. Animals graze here intermittently. They fertilize the soil and give it life again. All this land used to be green, right across the mountains. The only way to make the deserts bloom again is to mimic nature. This tree park is living proof. It's proof that we can reverse climate change. <laughs> I mean, it's a miracle, Christy. Trees provide fuel, fodder, medicine, habitat. They stop the hard rain from washing away the soil. But we need millions and millions of trees. We built the first park near this water source. Desta walks two hours to get her water each day. So where do I sleep? There. Where do you sleep? So now you understand why this work's more important. They're both important, Christy. They feed each other. Without Chelsea, no one knows or cares. Don't know why you can't say that.
this. Very. These churches, they're all carved from one piece of rock. A local legend has it that the churches were built in the day by the builders and finished at night by the angels. You need atmosphere in the tree park, Christy. Atmosphere? You need more than just a planting scheme and a water source. These people are fighting for their lives, Mary. The tree park is a source of life. But if you want people to care for it, you need to make it a place to celebrate, a place of community. Mm. Mm. You are a good man, Christy. Good man. Ingridi hulu muhano mi falle gal, hemu hai falle gal, atkul tu muhai falle gal, kamizu hai falle gal. Majaz mani daragi yanda ndo a tabta waha tamal sa wada. Mercha koro jo mat gawa kar nishvela na nasbat. I don't know what to do, but I don't know what to do. Good, good. What are you saying? He said he likes your concepts. I don't know what to do. Is that what I'm saying? Isn't that what he's saying? He said you should be proud of him. Good, good. Interesting. Thank you. Why did you come here, Mary? I don't know why I'm here. Chelsea. I think there's another reason. What? Oh, no woman can resist you. I'm not one of your girls, Christy. Did you use my design? Because when you said people would value it, 
I believed you. Do you value it? Of course. <laughs> you don't. You'd help me with Chelsea if you did. Chelsea's just not my world, Mary. I'm sorry. Nothing grows in a straight line. There's no river flowing in a straight line. Wind doesn't blow in a straight line. There's plenty of time for changing your mind. There's nothing written in stone, you know. Nowhere to be, nothing to know. You can turn back now, that'd be all. Seen such a day for rain and tears, day for light and the fire and staying here, day for letting the world go by. It's a day for showing off your famous love, the way that you did when they took that photograph. Do you remember that? Seems like a long time ago. so nice to me. Because I am.
Right? Yeah? yeah? The cradle of mankind. I wanted to show you this. We can turn desertification around for a lot less than the cost of an average war. I believe you can do anything, Christy. prove myself to you. Now it's your turn. Eve? Hey, you're back. Oh, Miriam missed you. I missed you. What happened to Chrissy? Well, I've come back to build the sanctuary. And I still have no money. Did you and Christy... Not exactly. <laughs> Not exactly. Something happened in Ethiopia, Eve. I'm not afraid anymore. Not of Christy. Not of anything. Just you know, need that. Mary. Sponsorship. We were very impressed with your recent radio pitch on the Barbara Murphy show. We'd like to make this donation on the basis of dismantling the Celtic sanctuary after Chelsea and rebuilding it at the Dublin Hospice to benefit people with life-threatening illnesses. Good luck. Oh, the gods of the Hawthorne must be with you. We have hawthorns, wildflowers. We've got a sheep field we can't transport. But you still need a builder. That would be me. <laughs> Come on. I've got something to show you. So I thought that we could transport the sheep's field to Chelsea on baking tray. How do you know I get the money? I believe we can do anything. We have a problem, though. We have 500 wild species that we need to bloom at Chelsea in three weeks. I don't think you understand the magnitude of it. 
believe it has happened, and it has happened. Bringing a sheep's field from West Cork to Chelsea, 500 wild species on baker trays. We had eight 200-year-old hawthorns that needed to bloom on cue, 40 tons of salvage stone wall. We were attempting to build the Celtic sanctuary in 21 days. We were attempting to rebuild the wild in a way never done before. We were attempting the impossible. We were absolutely mad. So, where the hell are we then? This is my Aunt Gilda's retirement home. The only affordable place in Chelsea. the sofa. I need you to focus on the sanctuary. Nothing else. Right, okay, everyone. Fine. No idea how this rabble got in here. Pony's tail. It's an embarrassment. I'm not even wearing matching t-shirts. But it's just the beginning. It's disgusting. There's nothing we can do. Royal Highness. that with steel. <laughs> it's a perfect arch. Built to stand 2,000 years, like the ancient Romans. And ancient Romans didn't have today's liability litigation. <laughs> Safety procedures must and will be followed. Yeah, filed an engineering report. Reinforcements weren't necessary. Right. So you know exactly what weight that archway can bear, yes? Not exactly, no. Well, in that case, my friend, Dismantle it now or be disqualified. <laughs> Is there any way we can get the wall down by tonight and get the ceiling for tomorrow? No! We have to do what he wants. Why don't we just smash his head in with a rock or something? <laughs> What are you doing here? Tell with her. Can't do anything to me now. Perfect timing. Charlotte? Oh, this is my design. It's a bed of roses. You lie in the center and you look up onto the wonderful circular sky. I could use your help with the uh, planting scheme, though. Yeah, um, I'm really busy. Sorry, Charlotte. Oh, come on. What are you actually doing here, anyway? I'm giving another one of your little wildflower talks. <laughs> 
Yeah, something like that. Look, darling, I just need a few wildflowers for the banks. And I don't think that my fiance would have a problem building 10 or more oases if you did me that one teensy weensy favor. Hmm? Sound fair? Think about it. Where does this tree go? Mary, I've ordered a batch of bluebells for the bank around the pond. It's what it needs. I, I don't want any big colour here, OK? I just want the wildflowers from the sheep's field. While you're deciding, could someone start unbinding the roots? Over there, leaning outwards. Inward. Mary, uh, Chelsea is all about outward show. Now, we agreed to help you, but you must obey the basic gardening rule. Hey, Dad, just leave her alone to do what she does best, OK? Oh. This is a disaster. It'll never work. Land the tree and lean it in. My poor Hawthorns. They're on their last legs. Why is there life? Come on. Do you think the Hawthorns will make it? Don't know, Mary. Imagine if they bloom just in time for the judging. Well, we'll have to pray to the Hawthorn gods. That's what we can do. Hello. Um, who's in charge? That would be me, Mary Reynolds. I can't tell you how impressed I am. Well, thank you so much, friends. There's a real sense of a harmony with nature here. It surpasses my wildest dreams. It was designed as a place to dream. Thank you. Exactly what I wanted. But, you know, I really don't remember that wonderful gate in my design. Uh, your garden's next door. <laughs> I'm most frightfully sorry. No, I'm honored that you'd mistake your garden for mine. Well. May the best garden win, eh? Royal Highness. Hog. Shah tells me that you build oases in regions suffering from drought, Mr. Carlyle. Uh, yes, yes. I've built them. Um, well, as you can imagine, we need thousands. Well, you certainly impressed my green-fingered fiancé. And Oasis Building is just the kind of charitable work my foundation supports. So, what can you do for her garden of roses? My bed of roses. Well, I have to see the designs. I have them. So, the structure that I've designed is absolutely perfect. Just can't quite decide how to plan for it. Roses for the bed. Wild, of course. But I think it's quite a bit cliche to put them on the banks. What do you think? We must have your assistance. I um, think your designs are perfect.
And remember to put two capfuls of chlorine duct in there to avoid bacterial problems. Will do. Thanks, Dan. Please, Bloom. Show the world how beautiful you are. Please. this garden come to life? Young, old, Irish, British, Jewish, Arab and American. Thank you. <laughs> to the weeds, to the wilderness. <laughs> to the weeds and the wilderness. <laughs> <Yay>! <laughs> It's all just weeds. What's all the fuss about? It's magnificent. I remember places like this when I was a child. Take a bow, Mary Reynolds. <laughs> Can you sign, please, for my daughter, a watercultural student? You see, I know you are going to change the world just a little bit. <laughs> Thank you. Well done, Mary. Thank you for over a crusty collar. It's the mister. Turn it off. Wait a 
Spotify for sure now. What's going on? How much disinfectant is in there? Like you said, two bottles. Two caps, two little capfuls. The judges will be here at dawn. Well, no one anyway. You got me back from Ethiopia. And gets out of this. With a pump, we refill the pool before the judging, polish the worst of the bubble marks off the competitors' leaves. Come on. Officially, a runner in the competition. I can look after the garden. Do you know that I love you, Mary Reynolds? More than anything. Mary Reynolds. Yes? I'm afraid competitors must be absent during judging. Yeah, sorry, of course.
People travel all over the world to visit untouched places of natural beauty. Yet modern gardens pay little heed to the simplicity and beauty of these environments. Those special places we must protect and preserve, each in his own way, before they are lost forever. Judging is nearly complete. Who will win this year's Chelsea Flower Show gold medals? I'm Dana Murphy from CCN in London's Chelsea. my gold medal for garden design at the Chelsea Flower Show. Stress the day I applied to Chelsea. Excited? No. No? <laughs> Liar. <laughs> tickets? Um, well, we, we didn't get any tickets. This is Mary Reynolds, the gold medal winner. If you're not on the list, you're not on the list. That's ridiculous. Just let us know. No, no, just, just go, Christy. You'll always be my fairy queen. In the beginning, they may say your ideas are crazy. You may even be reviled. But one day, one day they'll come to you. Given the chance, nature will always come back to us. We can protect what is left and recreate what is lost. Imagine 
if you could change the world just a little bit. I began by sowing a seed. There's no such thing 